The first time I heard my father speak about Perimeter, he'd been invited to go and see Perimeter, and he came back just sort of bubbling with excitement over this hidden gem that was in Canada. Perimeter was founded almost 20 years ago with the vision of creating one of the world leading theoretical physics institutes here in Ontario, in Canada, and to bring together the brightest minds with the goal of producing new breakthroughs in theoretical physics. The aim of the Clay Riddell Center for Quantum Matter is to provide an umbrella organization for all of our activities here at Perimeter that are related to quantum matter. I believe that the Center for Quantum Matter will be the right place for uh, fostering collaborations. Breakthroughs come from discussions, and discussion comes when you have physicists in, in the same place. In the early days of quantum mechanics, we couldn't have imagined having the impacts that we see today. Why we couldn't have imagined having batteries in our laptops, we couldn't have imagined having lasers. And staring at a phone, you, you, you wouldn't realize that this weird, spooky theory of quantum physics is uh, important at all. But if you go deeper, you look at the, the transistors inside, right? Ultimately, it relies on quantum principles. These are very important ideas in, in even allowing us to understand basic things like metals and, and insulators. The reason why it's important, that there are twofold reasons. The first is technological reasons that a lot of people pay much attention nowadays. Things like quantum computer or next generation chips and so on. But the, the other aspect which I pay more attention to is the conceptual aspect. There are possibilities that can arise in a quantum phase of matter that can never happen if you only think about classical matter. So an environment that encourages you to uh, you know, make up some wild guess, that's extremely crucial for our field. Clay was a real risk taker, an entrepreneur, and I believe that he really understood that you don't get something for nothing. You must invest in good ideas to reap the results. My dad truly loved science. His foundation as a geologist, I think, was something that he carried in everything he did. He always wanted to understand how things worked and how he could use that to better things in the world. He has so many overlapping characteristics, I think, with Perimeter, which is one of the reasons I think they were kind of drawn to, to each other. I think most of our family loves smart people and we love what can happen when you bring smart people together. One of the things that's really attractive about Perimeter is just how purposeful they are at developing that pipeline of talent. If I look at the real success stories at Perimeter, it's when we were able to identify rising stars, bring them here, nurture them, you know, remove all of the distractions, provide them with an ideal home and environment to do research, and just watching them succeed. We're using that same strategy now with quantum matter. What drew me to Perimeter was both the emphasis on very ambitious and usually long-term questions, as well as the very open-mindedness of this place. The intellectual freedom here is uh, quite amazing. I'm basically encouraged to do essentially whatever I dare to dream up. My interest has been in probing these many qubit systems and trying to engineer new quantum phenomena in these artificial systems. One of the remarkable things about condensed matter physics or quantum matter in general is the narrow gap between the theoretical ideas and the what I'll call commercial potential. It's an area that is primed to produce, you know, fascinating breakthroughs in the next decade. What kinds of things can we envision? Well, new kinds of materials, exotic superconductors that operate at temperatures close to room temperature. So these would be able to provide us with power lines that transmit electricity without any power losses. As always in this kind of research, the most exciting things are the things you did not expect. And I'm sure that this is just another area where that's going to be true. I think the investment in Perimeter was important to my dad because he saw the potential 
of science. You know, he clearly didn't expect to see the results of them in his lifetime, but he knew that making investments like this would be key to Canada and the world becoming a better place. It is my honor, really, on behalf of the board of Perimeter Institute, to thank Clay and thank Clay's family, the Riddell family, for their vision, for their trust in Perimeter, and for now, getting fully engaged in what's to come in this whole area of quantum. What the Riddell's generous gift does is it's an investment in the long game. And we're sure that with an investment like this, that we're going to have a lot of exciting activity here and that the young people are going to be able to produce all sorts of interesting breakthroughs in this important area of theoretical physics. Clay Riddell's name on that center is a very big deal. It makes a very big difference. When I think about the places where he's really put his investment in terms of uh, philanthropic investments, he's really wanted to make a big impact. And I think that Perimeter fit that bill.